Hello Aquarians and Cross Watchers, welcome to your video. So, I'm doing a video request today, let me double check, um, which is interesting because it also goes with, very similar to tonight's reading with the song that I channeled. Anyway, um, this is a video request, I've got a few of these, so it's not a singular request, so this might resonate with you it's a reading about will you ever speak with them again and it's interesting because like I said um, the song channel for tonight is along those lines but anyway guys before I get into all that I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world I'm going to thank you for being here and I'm going to thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me I value you the divine values you Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. So, I don't know what's going to come out, but the video requested was, will you ever speak with them again? We're going to see. Um, the way I cleanse my energy is through a prayer, so I'm going to do that now and get right into the reading. Our Father in Heaven, I want to thank you for the many blessings that you've given to myself and to everyone who's here. I want to ask for our protection and protection for our loved ones as well. I also want to ask that you help those who are in the most need and suffering. Please be with them at this time. And I want to also ask for clarity and guidance for this reading so that I can give the highest, most divine messages for those who need it. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So we're going to see what wants to come out. For some reason I was guided to use three tarot decks. Might use them all, might not, but um, I know that there's going to be some visual aspects because when, I'm, when I use the Osho Zen, that's definitely what it is for me. And I'm going to close out with spirit animal messages. So let's just get into the oracle part first. Will you ever talk to them again? Will you ever talk to them again? This will be the person on your mind. The one that you've wondered if you'll ever speak to them again. This can be for Aquarius or Cross Watcher. It's a requested video. And to be honest, I never know if the video request comes from an Aquarian or not. So just to keep that in mind. If it's someone on your mind that you're wondering if you'll ever speak to them again, this could resonate for you. I feel you'll know in your heart and your soul if, it, if it's for you or not. Something might just feel different or ring different. Show me what I need to see for this reading. We have breathe, meditate also. All right. That was, fell out and then it turned over again. Okay. Let's see here. First card out is breathe. And I feel like just focus on your breath work. Pay attention to your breathing. Meditate. Uh, connect okay some of you might do mirroring exercises where you imagine you're talking to the other person as if they're in a mirror and you're saying everything that you have that you want to say I'm gonna put that there that was the first card out we have chop chop and tick tock so I do believe that just focus on yourself focus being in the moment okay and I do feel it's a matter of time before there's some sort of change all right um, TikTok is always a matter of time before something changes, and Chop Chop is always a card of movement, all right? Yeah. Unfinished Symphony, come to the edge and go the distance. So I do feel, if you're wondering if you will ever talk with them again, if this someone on your mind that you've always wondered if you'll ever speak with them again, so far this would be like a big yes, a big yes, but... What's very important is to, you know, just like what she's doing. She looks like she could be praying, meditating. Maybe this is someone that you've prayed that you would speak to again or meditated on. Um, so you can take all of these things into consideration. But when you are breathing and focusing on your breath, you are in the moment. You are in the very literal moment. So if you have a hard time concentrating, meditating, praying, or any of those things, just sit in silence, focus on your breathing, pay attention to your chest goes in and out, you might feel your heartbeat or whatever, you are very much in the moment. Try to be in that, sometimes a nature setting helps, okay? 
not to get distracted, but maybe get distracted by nature. Um, so for that to come out first, that's going to be a big help in you speaking to the other person. All right, especially if that's what you want to do. It definitely, I feel, helps speed up the process because with TikTok, come to the edge, unfinished symphony, and go the distance with the cheetah, fastest animal on the planet, chop, chop movement. It's going to help. All right, let's get into the tarot. Show me what I need to see. You might get a phone call, sort of like my phone is ringing right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull 10 cards from this deck and then I'm going to clarify with the other two decks, okay? Um, I feel this is going to give me a broader spectrum here. It's just what I was guided to do. Show me what I need to see for this reading. This is the tarot portion. Two more shuffles. 10 cards. Will you ever speak to them again? Wow, first card out is the emperor. <laughs> For some of you, the person on your mind is uh, somebody who could be an Aries, a divine masculine, um, an elder, a father, a boss, a leader. Aries, Leo, Sag. But also, somebody is also watching if this person talks to you. Maybe a Leo. A Leo might be watching if this person talks to you. Um, but it does not have to be. We'll clarify. I do see that somebody wants to talk. And I do see that the environment is favorable for that. Alright. Somebody does want to talk with you. But I think that they want to do it or they're fear. There's something about another person being around and it just being you and them. Yeah. Okay. Let's clarify. That's what I can tell you right off the bat. All right. You want to know, will you ever speak to them again? This says yes, but there's some other factors. Other factors might be another person or people. Definitely at least one other person um, who might be watching closely um, if there's a conversation. And that person would be karmic. So it's like, I want to talk to you, but not when the karmic is around. All right. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. And I must say, this card here in the recent past is World Reverse. It's fixed energy for uh, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. But this is also unfinished business. Unfinished business. Let me scoot them over and you can see them better. Some of the cards are cut off, I've noticed. Me and my tarot tetris. It's a disorder, I tell you. Okay. Now, a little better. All right. You don't see the self position, but that is the conversation literally itself. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Clarify the Emperor for me. Clarify the Emperor. Could be um, a boss, the one who's in charge, your divine counterpart, the Yang, you know, divine masculine, elder, father. Someone who takes control of a situation. Or literal Aries. Give me a card for that emperor. Watching. Okay. This is a spying card and it landed on the card of Leo. Alright. This doesn't have to be a Leo watching. But there is somebody watching the emperor very, very closely. So there is somebody who wants to... You know, you and them talk, all right? Not a problem, not an issue, but there is somebody who's watching this, and the person knows. The emperor knows, the divine masculine, the yang energy knows they are being watched, all right? So they are, there is that. They know they're being watched. The person you're wondering if you'll ever talk to them again is being watched, a lot of stress here <laughs> because I feel they're guided to reach out. I feel they're guided to ascend. Um, anybody, listen, guys, and I'm not here to give advice, but I just got to say, because 
I've been there. I've been a person who I've let people control me. Anyone who's in a controlling situation, it's karmic. Period. Point blank. Whatever. It's karmic. Because we should all be free to do as we as we as we as we want. Okay. If we if we don't want to be in a relationship or faithful, fine. We have that right, but we shouldn't be in a relationship. But this is and I'm not even saying this as a relationship, but I'm saying this person's being closely watched by somebody and they know it. Maybe they don't have a choice. Maybe the person that's watching them is a person attached to you, to you. I don't know. A person attached to them. But they know that they're being watched. Or spied on. Tell me about the King of Wands. Tell me about the King of Wands. So I would say right now the blockage is there being watched. The person that's on your mind that wants to speak with you. Because there's a person who is jealous. I can tell right now. There's a person who feels like if you and this person connect or talk, there's going to be some cheating and unfair. Or this person just is highly suspicious of this person being a person who cheats or who has an affair or whatever. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, they're being watched. Being watched. All right. And um for some of you this is a divine counterpart for some of you this is uh people who have requested this video it's it's a twin flame you know because you're like will i ever see them again or now or speak to them that was literally speak speak you can see them on social media i'm sure the 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 reading was will i ever speak to them again they're being watched someone is watching them and somebody might even know about you all right but i'm telling you Focus on this. It's come out twice. This is why I was asked to use three decks because of the visual. It's, it's, focus on that. Focus on your breath work. Focus on practicing gratitude. Focus on meditation. Because I feel like, especially if this is a twin flame, it helps the ascension of the other person. It helps the other person raise their boundaries and realize that the type of situation that they're in where they're always being watched possibly controlled I don't see the strength card out but at least watched it's going to help that person to realize wow this is really karmic like I'm being watched every step of my life like a person like this and this is a person of status this person it's like walking on eggshells to be watched all the time what a life it's not a life actually it's jail it's jail but anyway, whoever this is that you're wondering if you'll ever speak again, they're being watched. They know they're being watched. They're being watched closely. And I feel that the other person, I feel the person who's watching, the watcher, knows about you as well. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the root. Tell me about the root. Seven of Cups, the root. Tell me about the root. It's about options and choices. It's also about confusion. Dreams, even. So let's see what wants to come out. So the, the surrounding cards will help me determine what it means by that. Okay. So strong Leo coming out. Now, some of you Aquarians are dealing with Leos, and it's not this. Okay. It's, it's, not, every, it's not every Leo, but there is strong Leo here. There's strong fire here anyway, Aries Little Sag. This is the thing. Whoever's watching feels like this person's going to choose to cheat. All right. If you and them talk, somebody feels that this person might choose to cheat. Maybe they've been caught doing it before. Maybe they suspect them. I don't know. But I do see that the intentions are not that. The intentions of somebody, if you and them talk, the intentions is not cheating. We have the King of Wands reverse. We have the King of the Knight of Wands reverse. So there's no intentions of that. But I feel whoever the watcher is, the one that watches you, watches them, the person watching is the person who feels like if you and them talk, automatically there's going to be cheating involved. 
but I don't see that. I do see, however, unconditional love, no matter what. And I do mean no matter what, because we have a ten swords there. I do feel that no matter what, you and this person, whether mentioned or unmentioned, whether known or unknown, underlying, you guys have some sort of unconditional love. Like, it doesn't matter. You probably have had past lives together. And no matter what happens, it's a genuine, heartfelt love for the other person and whoever it is that's on your mind that you want to talk to there is another person who is close to the situation who is watching it tell me about the world reverse and I'm guided to use Osho Zen tell me about the world reverse wow friendly <laughs> yeah for some of you this is your twin flame Tell me about the world reverse. Yeah, it's not over, okay. Um, let me pull another card. I have the laziness card in reverse, and I have the world here, and it's all part of unfinished business. There's going to be probably some sort of movement, yeah. Though there hasn't been, all right? We have the Hermit, Virgo energy, we have Temperance, Reverse, Sagittarius energy, and we have the Four of Wands, and that's that's a union or reunion. So in the recent past here, there's this energy of not being over, unfinished symphony, maybe an opportunity to talk or whatever, and so it's also got somebody thinking. Now, this is the thing, what somebody's thinking about uh, talking, or reuniting or whatever the whole point is they're deep in thought could be a Virgo could be a Sagittarius but the whole thing is somebody is watching this closely and they're very aware of this they're also very aware that the other person won't like them communicating with you at all it might even cause a disruption in the home so somebody is thinking not really liking the situation the way it is because that's this four of cups. This four of cups has a lot of things in life to be grateful for, but they're just not happy with the way things are. There's something missing. And so we're, that's kind of where we're at. And I feel it's the emperor's energy. I feel like it's the person on your mind, the person that you're like, will we ever talk again? Will we ever speak again? So there's a lot of thought behind it without movement, but also not liking the fact that there can't be movement. So somebody is thinking, is there an easier way around this? A, you know, a way that won't cause drama or stress. So I just want you to know, for whoever wants to know, will you ever speak again? The person wants to speak with you, but it's like, you know, complicated. It's complicated because somebody's being heavily watched. Somebody is already you know, possibly been accused of being a cheater or that they will cheat, which which tells me automatically whoever is thinking that is actually manifesting an affair. Whoever's thinking that you and this person are going to get together and just um, they're left out or that they're, you know, for, for some people, you're the person you want to talk with or unite with has nothing to do with being in love or affair or anything. But for those of you where there there is that possibility, the person who's watching is already manifesting that energy. But either way, whether you want to talk to them, whether you there was any opportunity for any t sort of romance or not, there's still a person involved who's watching this and does not want you and the other person to talk. That also tells me that's a person who's under some sort of control. Tell me about the future. It's a lot of anxiety here with the Nine of Swords. A lot of anxiety, possibly a lot of analyzing and overthinking with the Hermit card here. Hermit being Virgo. Uh, King of Wands being Leo. Aries, Sagittarius. A lot, like I said, a lot of fire and some earth. And yeah, and Capricorn. All right. 
interesting though you might guys might work together all right something might happen and a work opportunity okay if not work something here with this three of pentacles three of pentacles is that teamwork so there's something that you and this person might come together and do some sort of teamwork or work we have the eight of pentacles three of pentacles this is a strong work environment but because of a tower now this is another thing maybe somebody wants to work with you or offer you know working on some sort of project okay this is an eight of pentacles this person focuses on something but this person looks like they're distracted for whatever it is that they focus if they're at work they're distracted thinking about this maybe thinking about talking to you but like i said there's always a person watching and so the near future is energy of like how do i speak with them without stirring up the hornet's nest is what i just heard without creating a tower so i'm guided to ask um, oh, Shazen, if this person does talk, if this person does reach out, will there be a tower? Will there be a tower? I don't normally do this, but I'm guided to. Will there be a tower? Like I said, for some of you, this is your twin flame. <laughs> there is a person who watches, so I don't know. I don't know who the watcher is seems like it's on their side maybe it's on your side for some of you there's a watcher and the person who's watching is expecting there to be some sort of funny business and so it's almost as if someone's doomed but the thing is i specifically asked will there be a problem It's not telling me that. The thing is, I feel like there's a higher spiritual contract between you and this person. That's why meditation and prayer is going to help. Because whoever is jealous, whoever is watching, they're watching and they're acting in a lower vibration. They're operating from their lower chakra systems. But you and this person's connection is very much higher font connection, next level, high vibration. And that's why being in that energy will automatically bring about speaking together because it's not for operating from the low vibration. It's not, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So let's get on to the conversation. Self position. Give me a converse, give me a conversation. Yeah, give me a card for that page of pentacles. This might be your energy or whoever wants to know if you'll you speak to them again. The Page of Pentacles. Well, you guys are already in contact, okay, whether you know it or not. Um, like I said, you guys have a pact, no matter what. You guys are in contact, all right? You're in tune with one another. This is the space that you guys share. You share this space. Like I said, very strong twin flame stuff here. You guys share the same space, the same energetic space. Being in the state of meditation, the astral, sometimes the dream state here with this seven of, of cups, that's the space that you guys are occupying together right now. And no matter how much a person is controlled in the 3D, in the 3D, the physical reality, nobody can control their soul. Nobody can control their thoughts. You and this person have a pact. This nothing is really going to nothing's going to make you hate each other. But there is a person who I I heard jealous and envious of the connection. They really are, and they're they're threatened by the connection. Tell me about the environment, please. It's very promising. The environment's very promising. So in other words, if you and this person didn't have whoever between you, you guys would already be talking. Six of Cups ace of cups love like i said this is you, this is a love from beyond lifetimes this is a love from the past life and future lives it's unconditional so if you don't talk with this person don't worry about it just concentrate on your higher self know that they want to talk to you but the problem is there's a person in the middle 
very jealous, very envious, and very threatened by your connection. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. Two of Swords. Yeah. So the environment is highly likely that you will speak to each other again because Two of Swords Reverse is like, I'm not making the decision. I've made it. I've already made up my mind. I'm going to let go. What they let go of, I don't know. But I feel they let go of something in order to have a conversation with you. Either letting go, and here again is the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. These are both the same cards. So, like I said, the environment is favorable for you and them to speak again. Someone's going to let go of whatever is in the way of you guys speaking. All right? Because, like I said, it's of the higher authority, the higher connection. It's, it's, um, it's divine. You guys have done this in past lives, and you guys have come back in future lives. There's really nothing ever going to come. Nothing is going to ever block you other than an illusion. So, but what is trying to block you is maturity reversed. There's an immature person involved, and they're threatened by it. And very plain and simple. I can't say it no simpler than that. Tell me about the hope and the fears, the eight of wands reversed, please. Uh-huh, that's all you. Ace of Cups. All right. So I just want you to know somebody really does have a lot of love for you, okay? Somebody does have a lot of feelings for you. Somebody does see you as family. And somebody, no matter what, the long term, you and this person are good. The long term is forever. It's for eternity, all right? The whole point is they just can't talk to you right now, but know that they, they have a lot of love and feelings and emotions for you. It's unconditional. The problem is they can't talk to you because there's a karmic. Now, this is the last card, and it's in reverse. And remember, over here, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse because of maturity. So somebody's been acting foolish and immature when it comes to you and this person just ever speaking to each other. And I feel it's that karmic devil energy that's going to be released. Tell me about the devil reverse. Tell me about the devil reverse. The star is reverse. Aquarius energy, but it's also a wish fulfillment to hope. I'm telling you, you and this person are in connection. You guys are telepathic with each other. You guys pick up on each other's thoughts, and you guys connect, and you travel to each other in the astral realms. Tell me, give me another card for the star. And give me a card for the devil. So the star is the four of wands. It's the reunion. They want a reunion with you. Like I said, strong twin flame. Tell me about this. But change. Right now is not the right time. Okay. So there is a person, the one that you're wondering if you'll ever speak to them again. Yes, chances are high, but not with this person around. So they have to, in other words, I feel like there's no way to get around this person because... This person is highly jealous and envious, so that, that person's got to be let go of, all right? This this card has come out three times, and it's the Wheel of Fortune. I have the Wheel of Fortune once, I had the Wheel of Fortune again, and this is the Wheel of Fortune again. So, yes, you will, but it's the time that is not favorable right now. Something's got to be let go of. It's a karmic energy. It's a, it's a it's an immature energy. It's very threatened by the connection. May not understand the connection, but just know that this person does love you, even if they're saying absolutely nothing at all. And this person could be being controlled by a literal Leo. Doesn't have to be, but could be. Um. But I do feel that they're under. I do know that they're under control because it's like. They would have to go through so much stress just to talk with you or deal with you or anything with you. They are watched. They are watched. And I'm going to... They're watched because whatever. They feel if this person connects with you, there's going to be some sort of funny business going on. And they're they're watched. I don't care what angle. They're watched everywhere. They probably even got friends and family got their eyeballs on them. So... Let's close out with a bonus card. I hope you enjoy the reading. This is Will You Ever Speak Again? You will in the long run. Right now, 
I feel they have to let go of karmic energy or somebody does. There's a karmic in the way. Is someone highly jealous and envious in the way? And it's really immature because I don't see anything about, I don't see any cheating cards here. But it's perceived that you and this person will be inappropriate if you guys come into connection with each other. But you guys are very highly connected. You've been connected in past lives. You'll be connected in the future lives. You could very well be twin flames. And if you are, it's your very own soul. And how do you detach from that? You'll never detach from your own soul. So somebody will just have to learn their life lessons and grow up. Bonus card. And it landed on the family here. And it says, Tiger Fire. I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. I do feel that... Um, they're good looking. I feel you're good looking too. You guys are a good looking couple. Like together, you're very similar, but your stripes are different, right? Anyways, might have different cultures, but it's very beautiful. You're both very beautiful people, and you're both cut from the same cloth. I do feel your twin flames, but I don't. Who am I to say? Anyway, guys, I love you. See you in your next video, and it's very closely linked to tonight's video with the song that I channeled. So if you want to check out tonight's video at 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, go ahead. Love you, and namaste, my friends.